Hello and welcome to this video. It's going to be an eventing vlog. Um, I've done one a long time ago, um, back in 2020, I think. Not done one since. Good girl. Just checking Maggie's not gonna spook at anybody. Um, but I thought it might be fun to bring you along. So we're taking Titan out and he is going to be doing the B90 off Churchbury. So first I've got four horses on the yard to get sorted. Maggie being one of them, who is currently on box rest. Ooh, I go through the gate. I'm getting a pickle, um, which is allowed a bit of time out morning and evening. So I'm gonna try and get her time out now before we go, because it's due to be a long day. My dressage isn't till two, but it's like a two hour drive there. So, um, Good girl. She's finally stopped her acrobatics in the field. It was a bit dangerous turning her out before. So yeah, I'll bring you along with me while I do the yard and then hopefully you'll get to see a bit of eventing. Not too bad on the poo stain check, to be fair. Torture of only a grey horse. No, 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 no. So that is the yard done super quickly, um, super quickly because you're on time lapse but also super quickly for me today, I think that took me 20 minutes. Um, so I am just going to go grab everybody in, I did an extra stable because we've got four horses and obviously we take one away and poor little Dunkin' Donut will end up out by himself otherwise, so he's going to have a little bed um, just to help out. It just chucked it down and rained, didn't it, Donny?
学。We're all ready and whizzing around to load up. Mum's pulled the lorry around for me and brought me a hot drink. Boy, I've been informed we're running late, but we can't be late if there's not a leave time. So, there is the lorry. You're a good boy. Right then, let's take a look at this dressage test from Saturday. Now that's quite a smart centre line. I mean, you can't complain that much about that. Maybe jumping onto his left shoulder a little, but a good smooth turn. Nice impression to start off the test. I would say on Saturday, Titan was a little bit stuffier than usual for his dressage. Um, he is a fair weather horse. This sort of rainy weather and getting all water in his ears it's not what he likes he likes sunshine if possible and firm ground so going to torrential rain and soggy going is not what's going to make the gray beastie best pleased but we still soldiered on and produced a fairly smart serpentine there and a really really lovely canter transition can't complain at that I would say following that though, the can is lacking a bit of jump and a bit of energy and he could do with softening at the base of his neck a bit and bending more through his rib cage. The jump and the energy, all of that softness really comes when he's feeling a bit more secure in his footing, but a good can to trot transition, so can't complain. And then we go on to this free walk here, a good trot walk transition, but I did want a bit more stretch out of him and I was working hard for it on Saturday, but it just wasn't to be, there wasn't as much time maybe and he just didn't quite want to offer it. But all the same, no jig jogging, no actual errors and some good steps. Our big mistake of the test comes here, so see how he goes walk to canter. I did a load of preparation for that turn, I wanted to get him into the corner ready for the serpentine and I think we just had a bit of a cross wires where he went, oh you're working hard, are we going to canter? And actually all I wanted was a trot. But a half decent serpentine could maybe be a bit softer through the back, but he does do everything that's asked of him and another good canter transition again i would want him a bit more down in the base of his neck and a bit more up in his back but the overall picture is looking good again just asking for a bit more jump a bit more off the floor but if he's not sure where his feet are gonna go he's not a fan of slipping so i can understand why he's staying a bit lower to the ground and another good canter trot transition looking quite smart pictures we come around for this diagonal and i think he just jumps onto his right shoulder yeah see my hand come out to quickly catch him and push him back over to the left and then coming around onto this center line a good turn although we suddenly jumped into counter flexion and then a fairly good halt i think we deserve that 29
onto the course walk with these two terrors. Now I do apologise for my atrocious videoing as this goes on because, I mean, it was chucking it down with rain. I had hold of two dogs and I was trying to make sure I dodged any horses coming on the cross country course. So, um, just be pleased you've got a course walk today. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, and hear that beep? I was doing my minute markers too on the cross country app, so can't say I wasn't multitasking that day. And on to the show jumping we go. Um, so the rain didn't let up really. I was hoping it might stop, but it wasn't great conditions. And as I mentioned in the dressage, Titan would prefer to run on concrete than on deep going. So this is a challenge for him, especially as show jumping is our weakest phase. Good start. Say the warm up was like a quad mire, so we didn't get to warm up much and we were hunting round. Now, I just did not make a decision. I even needed to take a pull there or kick on, and I kind of just sat there and let him do it. So a one rail down there, got my act together for this, and he's absolutely flying. I'm really pleased with this line where he went oxa upright and then to these next two fences. Really forward, really fluent, letting him get up in the air, and it's looking the best he's looked for a long time. And I'd probably say the fence after this is great as well. So we've discovered you can't show jump Titan like a typical horse. You can't do that quiet canter. He needs power. He needs to be punchy up to the fence. A bit close there, rail down, two, two poles, eight volts, not too bad. Look how excited we get for cross country. Yeehaw! Off we go. And now with the eight volts, we were out of the running so i just went for a little count around we're not going very fast ground was deep i didn't really want to exhaust him given we were probably not going to be getting placed after having two poles down but look at how much fun he's having just cantering around this course it really did not cause him any problems and I could easily see him cantering around the 100 course quite happily too. Finishing off our round, it had started raining again by the time we were on our way home, but look at him pop through the final double, still as good as he was going at the start, and then all the way to the last. What a good boy. of a bog 